This is Coyotes Icebreakers with Christian Fisher. 13 goals this season, three game-winning goals this season, and the Coyotes have had quite the 2018. Welcome, Christian. <laughs> really playing well these days and you know we want to talk about hockey tonight but we want to talk about a lot of different topics <laughs> how are you? yeah how are you the break has been uh, i imagine pretty good now now paul came in from tampa he was following oliver ekman larson around at the all-star game now i imagine being an all-star is probably a goal for you how would you feel though being stalked by biz though yeah, if I ever go, you're not coming for sure. <laughs> well, Oliver didn't invite me either. I just stuck in his hockey yeah, gear. That's yeah. what I assumed. Jumped in his I'll, hockey bag. I'll double check my bags next time. All right. Fair enough. That's the scary part, you know. But you know what? For the break, it was a couple days of practice for you guys recently, but I'm curious, what did you do over the, uh, the free time? Uh, I actually stayed here. Um, I know a couple guys went on vacation or, or just went to California, but I stayed here. Uh, I went golfing almost every day. Uh, my good buddy Matthew, uh, the Kachuk family, was actually in town. Okay. Uh, Brady played at, at ASU, so they were in town, so got to catch up with them and just uh, have a couple dinners and just golf, really. Um, didn't do too much, just kind of want to relax. Well, I mean, you are the pride of Chicago, Illinois, so it probably never gets old. Chicago in house, um, golfing in January, right? That's always a blessing. Yeah, you can't, <laughs> you can't beat this. I mean, outside right now, uh, this is unreal. I, I lucked out getting drafted here, so uh, probably. of that and oh the worst boy. of that. <laughs> well, I don't know if there's any good one. <laughs> I feel like one, I'm going to be a really good dad when I'm older because okay. I'm getting a lot of practice in right now. Um, but usually kids don't help out with the rent. Yeah, exactly. So this kid actually helps pay my bills. So uh, that's the only positive. That's the only positive yeah. <laughs> but no, he's, he's fine. He just uh, needs a little help, you know, with the little things, laundry and trash and just the, the things you don't want to do, Biz. So so he's useless. Other than <laughs> hockey, he's useless. Yeah, thank, thank God he's a good hockey player because off the ice, he is, he's in one. But he is also good at golf, which I've been hearing. Well, he's been talking his game yeah, up pretty no, good. Says he has to give you guys strokes. Yeah. So was there any uh, maybe gambling going on in the, in the, during the break? There was, there was dinner negotiations, yeah. Um, we played, me and, me and Christian Dvorak play uh, Chikrin and Keller. Those two claim to be the best. So we get, the, they say, okay, if, we're, if you guys are the best, you got to give us strokes because you guys are the best, right? So they kind of put themselves in their own soup. Yes, and so uh, they gave us two strokes, and me and Christian Dvorak won. So wow. Yep. That's big Free, talk. Uh, yeah, Ocean's Club. Okay. Oh. Ordered up the seafood tower. Surf and turf. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Lovely. Yeah. So Kells might not be able to pay next month's rent. Okay. Oh, geez. Now but you're right back to, to where yeah. we started. It went, it went to big circle. <laughs> Ocean Club is so good. Yeah. So good. Yeah, it's solid. Um, so when you guys are, you know, in your time off the ice, so who's, the, you know, you kind of said you're the leader, you're kind of the. I just mentioned there the four young guys we we kind of head out to the breakfast or lunch or dinner or whatever it is and yeah um, I think yeah I, I kind of have the say in, in what we go I have, I have I have two votes so our house counts as two votes and chicken Devo kind of agree with me if not we have a <laughs> we have a straight two on two battle so um, but yeah we us us four kind of hang out go out to dinner all the time well, it's, it's a lot of responsibility but it sounds like you're up for that you're yeah. up for being the leader yeah yeah no it's yeah. it's no problem at all I like. I like what I like, I guess. I think that's going to translate to on the ice because I can already tell just based on your consistency. And uh, I feel like a lot of the young guys gravitate towards you and follow your lead. Is that the case? I, I think so. I don't know. I just kind of how I was born is just kind of outgoing. And just uh, I like to talk, like to have fun. But, I mean, even on the ice, I think it's the same practice or whatever. I think, uh, you know, hopefully guys respect the way I play and just 
Um, yeah, no, it's definitely part of my blood just to be a leader wherever I played so far. Well, I, th I mean, I've I've compared you on the radio. I don't know how the rest of you feel about. I feel a lot of uh, a lot of your game emulates what Shane Doan brought: power forward, always good on the forecheck, uh, timely goals. I mean, I, I feel like you're you're one of the one of the guys that you and Perlini, I would say, you're always looking to shoot first mentality, and that's a that's a big thing. Yeah, that's it's probably really. You know, tough to, to live up to what Donor did. Um, by no means, if I do if I do half of what he did, I think that's a, a great career for me. But uh, yeah, he's been he's been a great mentor. Uh, even even this year, he's he's reached out, and I see him at the rink all the time. But uh, even last year, I got a couple games with him. That's uh, that's exactly who I want to be on and off the ice. So uh, couldn't have worked out better that that I got drafted here. I've, I watched him since I was growing up too. And yeah. Um, yeah, if, if, if I could do anything he does, that's it's, uh, that's going to be great. I know you've had a lot of great influences, uh, the Kachucks, yeah, right? Um, not only that. playing against Matthew, but also being around Keith yeah. and, and playing against at a young age against against Clayton and yeah. and a lot of the you know elite players were near where you grew up. But I'm curious too. Rick Tockett said he's actually kind of hard on you because he sees a little bit of himself in you. You you know going to the net, um, you know playing hard all the time. Yeah. Do you sense that? Do you appreciate that? Yeah. Yeah. You know, that's obviously. We, we, me and Tuck have a really good relationship. Um, you know, he's really communicated towards me. Um, I think that's just who I am. I, I want to be told that if I'm doing something wrong or, or what I could get better at, stuff like that. He's been he's been great like that. And it's, like you touched on, it's kind of weird how it works out with, uh, you know, Donor and Tuck and Keith Kachuk. They're all pretty similar players and guys who all, all you know, played long NHL careers. Well, I mean, I think we got to get to it. He uh, He's, of course, born in Illinois, uh, grew up a Chicago Blackhawks fan. Yeah. Oh. Security. Please Security. move them. <laughs> we can do that one more time. He grew up a Chicago Blackhawks fan. There you go, there you go. Let's get the morale up in here. I like that. <laughs> Who are some other guys on maybe the Blackhawks that you grew up emulating? Uh... Easy answer, Kane and Taze, obviously. Um, we had season tickets to, uh, to the Blackhawks growing up, and wow. they uh, they got right in the league kind of when I started really watching NHL hockey, right around 06, 07, and that's when they broke in. So, um, you know, from the start, they, they were obviously superstars, and um, that's obviously pretty pretty easy to watch up to them. I really, I think more now I probably gravitate towards Taze just – for you know the way he plays more two-way and just yeah. more of a you know obviously he's a captain there so um but yeah it was it was great sparked my interest a lot um i've got to give credit to them because uh probably if they didn't weren't doing so well and won those cups i don't know how you know interested i'd be in hockey so um that worked out well you know growing up there well that's a good follow-up here you got some you dug deep yeah. on the speaking of yeah. interest in hockey i was just reading our good friend craig morgan talked to you recently Craig, and yep. he, he mentioned your dad you know the first time he took you to a rink you kind of just crumpled yeah. on the ice and you yeah. wanted no part of it and then they had to bribe you <laughs> with pac-man or something yeah. tell me about this that there is <laughs> an arcade game pac-man at my oh, local, at my, at my, at my for local you, rink it was yeah. like an old thing for i know me, it was when it first came out but um yeah. <laughs> but yeah i i don't remember it too much but i do i remember that game being at the rink i still see it but um, yeah, I did not like hockey when I was really young. They, I was told I cried every time and would just hide inside <laughs> the net. So uh, if there's any hope for the young kids out there that still don't like hockey, mom and dad, there's still a fighting chance. You could, I hated it since, I, I don't know, and eventually it grew on me. So um, yeah, no, he, he did a good job. He, if it comes down to bribing, hey, it, it might work. So <laughs> never it's know. It's worked out really, yeah, really well. Yeah, exactly. Does that how? Did you gravitate right away to hockey? Or I was loved it, hockey yeah. right away. It just didn't love me back. So <laughs> it's kind of a, it's kind of like the reverse of you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, kind of sad. I'm gonna leave now.